Hey, how's it going? My name is Will. Uh, this is a response to Ian Crossman's video. Uh, Ian, how's it going? If you're looking at this, uh, very good, very good. Um, very interesting. Some interesting ideas there. Uh, I just got done recording a whole response to it, uh, and then realized that m the microphone wasn't on, which is very annoying. It's I keep doing that because I just switched to. Uh, 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 my condenser mic, which sounds much better when I play music and stuff, uh, but, uh, <coughs> so now I gotta hash through this whole thing again! SHIT! Alright, uh, but it, <laughs> it was cool, though, it was cool, I made some good points. Hopefully I can remember them. Uh, okay, first off, you're thinking of, um, uh, you're thinking of dimensions as... This is just something to keep in mind about dimensions. You're thinking of them as, of them as real things of some kind. Now, I assume you're basing a lot of it on Flatland, uh, the book, uh, by whoever that was. I, I can't remember the author of that, whoever that physicist or philosopher who wrote it was. Uh, because I can tell by the overtones of what you're saying and stuff that it's Flatland influenced but uh, uh, one thing to keep in mind is this uh, when you have the zeroth dimension you, you say that's a point okay but the thing to keep in mind is that that doesn't exist a point uh, if a point that doesn't exist in any way in reality if, if a point uh, had even the tiniest area to it which it would have to be to be a point uh, it would have length and width, and that would already put it in the second dimension, dimension rather than the zero dimension. So uh, that doesn't exist in reality. Uh, same with a line, the first dimension. Uh, the only thing you can say is maybe that's sort of like the edge of something, but it's not the thing that itself that it's the edge of. Uh, so it's very hard to talk about that in any way as being something real. You know, uh, it could be. I suppose you could say. It, it's like the boundary between two things or something, but that has very little reality. Uh, furthermore, it depends on the second dimension to even be there. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, so the only thing you can point to as being real is having any reality at all is things in the second dimension. Uh, the only thing of that that you can actually point to and see is a shadow. A shadow has no depth and uh, yet it does have area. It has length and width. Uh, but again, it depends on the third dimension to be there. Uh, or else the shadow isn't cast on anything, etc, etc, etc. I suppose you could also say like light on a wall, on a surface would be the second dimension, although light propagates through third dimensional space, but when it gets to the wall, it could be uh, thought of as in the second dimension. Uh, let's see, what was the next thing I went to? Uh, and, you know, so that's interesting, yeah, but uh, there isn't really a, any separation between these things. There isn't, like, some, some line that says, okay, now the second dimension is beginning, you know. Uh, and I've thought a lot about this myself, and you know, but there, there isn't anything like that that you can point to. Uh, the same thing, the same thing uh, says Ginger69, meet hot single women. How the hell? Okay, never mind. All right. Uh, there isn't anything um, really different, you know. Same with time. Time depends on space, and there isn't a dividing line between time and space, really. Uh, time is, like you're saying, progression through space, all progression through space. But I really liked your thing about progression through time leads, you know, progression through three dimensions takes time, fourth dimension, into the fifth dimension of the possibilities. The pro That was very good, very good. Really like that. Uh, uh, let's see now. What else?
else was I talking about? Oh yeah, I, I actually looked at your relativity video and I uh, got uh, I wanted to brush up on my relativity, so I reread Einstein's description of it. Not the whole entire book, but uh, the part where he lays down the basics of relativity. And it's really not uh, all that uh, hard to understand. It's pretty simple in a certain way. Um, it's simply that uh, uh, reference frames in motion, in other words, three-dimensional Cartesian coordinates in motion, you know, in other words, 3D, a 3D reference frame will interpret time somebody in that reference frame will interpret simultaneity because it's in motion it will interpret simultaneity and thus time differently it'll also interpret distance differently and he shows fairly simply how to uh, why that's true but uh, thus there isn't an absolute space and time the same way there is an absolute motion there's only relative motion if you're if you're driving down the road you could just as easily say that the car is sitting there and the world is going backwards under your car in a complex motion, uh, like combined with its spinning, you know. But uh, so, in the same way, uh, I guess it's just sort of a general idea. Uh, in the same way uh, that that that's true, there isn't uh, this sort of model. And dividing line between uh, dimensions, uh, nor is there between space and time. It's space time. Einstein called it one thing, space time. And uh, dimensions go on and could go on endlessly and, and yet all be the same basic space time. Um, because you can't really divide it up and delineate it like that. That's not real. You see? Now, you know, the next thing to think about is, though, is space-time real at all? I keep hearing the idea space-time is an illusion, you know. So, uh, or, yeah, I mean, uh, reality is a dream and an illusion. So, um, you know, uh, that's hard to imagine. It there's a lot of things that don't seem particularly dreamlike about, you know, daily life, uh, you know how very specific it is and you know all kinds of things but uh and very solid it is but uh nevertheless when you fall asleep and you have a dream and you're having a you're having a dimensional experience in that dream you're having a, an experience in space in a 3d space and in time i've done a fair amount of lucid dreaming i can tell you it seems very real you know very dimensional even solid you, know, you can knock on things and stuff but uh However, when you wake up, it's gone. You know, that space is gone. So where did that space, where did that take place? Where, where is that space, you know? Is it in your head? No. I mean, not exactly. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's a space that existed for a while and then was just gone, you know? So uh, that's kind of what, I don't know if you saw my other video or what, but uh, that's kind of what this Gary Renard stuff talks about. And, uh, that this all space time is a big illusion, you know. It isn't really out there. It's like referred out, sort of, or something. So, when you think of all dimensions as basically one big space time you know, without delineations and stuff, and then that in itself not existing, I don't know, that's just something to think about. I don't have the big answer to it because it's kind of mind boggling, but uh, still, very interesting video. I like to, you're a nice guy, you're an intelligent guy. Uh, they shouldn't be jerks, like, saying shit about you. They're, they're stupid, you know. But, uh, I don't know, you, you have a fair amount of people, you know, quite a few people that say good things about you, too, obviously, and stuff. So, you know, that's cool. But anyway, okay, see you later, bro.